Privyet comrades, TFCom here, and I wanted to let you guys know I did not forget about you. I tried to make a video last night um, to make it up to you guys. I actually played a game and everything. And of course, um, about an hour in, I realized uh, my recorder wasn't on. Um, so that sucked. But I'm trying to keep it. I'm trying to do some good videos for you guys because I really regret not having good ones lately. Um, I think now I honestly want to talk about um, I do know what I want to talk about. I have a lot of things planned in my head but most of them will take more time than my phone can record. But, um, if you want to know a bit of it, I'm going to be doing something about transgender bathrooms, since that's a mild, uh, it's a pretty big topic right now. It's gotten a little better, but now with, um, the new law in Tyler, Texas, um, I feel that it needs to be brought up again. North Carolina is repealing their law. Which is amazing. But unfortunately, Texas has added the law in some towns. All of Texas? Possibly. I haven't really kept up with all of Texas, but we'll see how that goes. But North Carolina realized they fucked up. Uh, they got no stars to visit, no one wants to come. A lot of factories took their places out of there. A lot of main stores like Target completely got rid of their companies in the state and they realized no matter what your opinions are on it you fucked up business wise so if you want to make any money whatsoever you're going to have to open it back up repel the law and I don't know what day it'll officially be repelled they've already voted I just don't know what day it's going to be enacted so good luck there we won the fight, guys. Um, at least there we won the fight. And it's only a matter of time before this stupid bathroom issue is behind us. But I'll go more into that later on because I'm going to be doing a demonstration on uh, how trans people can use the restroom and stuff. Um, very informative stuff I have planned of, you know, how and pee standing up or things like that but anyway um I have that planned I also have um I still have the mental illness thing how to live with someone who has a mental illness in your family and what it's like living in a family where you have the mental illness I'm also thinking about doing a bit of a coming out thing. What it's like to come out as gay or trans. Um, that one I'm not completely sure I'm going to do yet. But comment, comment below if you want to hear it. I'm sorry. Um, I'm very tired. I was up very late last night making that video for you guys. That never happened. And I know it does seem like I'm slacking on my channel because... I used to do a video or two a day, and now I'm doing every other day or so, and I really, really am trying to get back to doing it how I used to do it. It's just a lot harder now. With work and stuff, and sometimes... Ugh, sorry. Sometimes I forget to record one, um... Because I used to have it all planned out a certain way, of certain times to do them. And that's more difficult when um, my work schedule's kind of jumping all over the place. So my regular plans don't work. And then I get home and I'm so tired I pretty much pass out. But I'm going to try to fix that, obviously. <sighs> well, I have some good news about my name change, finally. I know, I bet you guys forgot all about that, huh? Mm. 
The doctor has officially wrote me my letter proving that I am on testosterone, which was a requirement to have your name and gender changed. Um, now all I need is for my lawyer to contact me because that takes forever, obviously. And oh, sorry. Once that's finally done, then I can officially change my name. It will. It was supposed to be officially finished by February. Or as it is now. The goal is by August. And the odds of that happening are getting slimmer and slimmer as the year goes on. But I need it done by August. Absolute latest October. Which is pretty late in the year. Because. I absolutely need it done um, before I graduate and honestly I'm working really hard on my classes it doesn't look like I will graduate um, but I'm gonna work my ass off on that because if I don't graduate then I'm kind of screwed you know I may have to retake some classes but I don't know what classes are even offered and, da -da -da, and I want to graduate in December but it's still my goal I may end up having to take a couple more classes in December on top, you know, so that I make up for um, the fact that, you know, I am failing classes. But as it is now, that one class I'm retaking, it looks like I may even have to retake again. Because I was stupid and I've skipped, I've skipped class every once in a while. Simply because I already took the class, um, so the subjects I did good on, I don't bother showing up to relearn, you know, and there was a test, uh, our midterm, it was not mentioned online, or on the syllabus, and I attended the previous class and it was not mentioned, but we had a midterm, and I skipped the midterm. And the policy, you cannot repeat a test unless you ask before you miss it. Or like text your teacher. They say you can email the teacher or the teaching assistant before you miss the class. As sort of, hey, I'm really feeling sick today. Is there a way I can take it another time? But since I emailed after the test was over because I completely forgot about it until like the day after. I'm screwed. So, I'm probably going to have to retake that unless I get like a perfect score on the final. Because there's only three tests in that class. But anyway, wish me luck guys and 